In the early morning of October 1st, President Donald Trump confirmed that he and his wife have tested positive for COVID-19. This has come after months of downplaying the severity of COVID-19. As a result, they are stuck in quarantine until they have recovered from the virus. But this has got a lot of people wondering, what if Donald Trump never recovers? Just because he's a president doesn't mean he's immune from the virus. We certainly don't know how this is going to play out. But let's see how the president's passing would affect America, election Election day and the world. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your host and voice of reason for today's video, Lindsay Ivan. And I'm no longer just a voice, so you can now see me. But today I'm bringing you the video, what if Donald Trump passes away from COVID? But before I begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get into the video. America is getting hit hard with the pandemic. They have the highest number of COVID-19 deaths in the world with over 212 thousand deaths. And the numbers are rising each day. Now, Donald Trump has been downplaying the pandemic this entire time, making statements like masks won't help or cleaning products can cure COVID, which in the end made matters worse. A number of believers ended up in the hospital after believing this statement. A lot of people are not impressed by the way Trump is handling the situation and the lack of measures he has put in place. It was just a matter of time before he would contract the virus. And now he has. Just a month away from the US election. Impeccable timing. The release of this statement shocked the world. Just hours before he revealed that he tested positive, a pre recorded speech from him aired. In the speech, he said, and I quote, I just want to say that the end of the pandemic is in sight, and next year will be one of the greatest years in the history of our country. Now, I don't know how we missed it, but in this video, he does sound sick. He has a very raspy voice. A lot of people knew something was up, especially Trump's staff members. They got the feeling something was off with him. Now, it's not clear how Trump contracted the virus, but Hope Hicks, one of his close aides, tested positive for it on Thursday. Is it possible that she gave it to Trump, or did Trump give it to her? Either or, it's got people wondering. What will happen if Trump falls victim to COVID? Well, if this is the case, everything is going to get extremely messy. For starters, Trump is at a higher risk. He is 74 years old. He's in the age group most at risk to the virus. Not only that, but he has pre existing health conditions. And according to his health records published in June, he is categorized as obese, putting him even more at risk. For now, he claims to be asymptomatic, but it doesn't mean he's completely safe. So if Trump passes away before the election, then his party will choose another candidate to run in place of him. This could possibly be Vice President Mike Pence, but it's not certain. The three Republican National Committee members from each state and six territories would vote on who would replace Trump on the ballot. The candidate is not required to be Mike Pence but chances are it would be. But while this is happening, Mike Pence would be required to fill the role of the president until the election is over, regardless if he is running or not. The 25th Amendment states, and I quote, in case of the removal of the president from office or of his death, resignation or inability to discharge the powers and duties of the said office, the same shall devolve on the vice president. So Mike Pence would become acting president. Now this scenario has only happened three times in American history. And in 1985, Ronald Reagan had surgery to remove a growth in his colon. During this time, Vice President George H.W. Bush took over. In 2002, George W. Bush got a colonoscopy done and was going to be under anesthesia. So Vice President Dick Cheney was in charge, but that was just for two hours. Then in 2007, Bush had another colonoscopy done and Cheney again was acting president for a couple of hours. Now these are quite different scenarios. Pence would be in charge for a couple of months until the next president is elected. But then we run into the issue that millions of ballots would have to be reprinted with the new candidate's name on it. And the fact that those who have already voted will then have to vote again. It's honestly going to be a huge mess. Now here's where it gets more complex. The rules change depending when Trump dies. So if he dies between election day in November and the electoral college meeting in December, then it gets really confusing. That's when the US Supreme Court comes in to resolve this issue. Each state has different rules surrounding how electors can vote. Like some states will just allow you to vote for somebody else if this happens. Whereas Vermont requires the electors to vote for the winning candidate. But like, 
if the person's dead, now what do you do? So it would be a huge, big mess that the US Supreme Court would have to figure out. In 1872, Democratic presidential candidate Horace Greeley died between the election and the meeting of the Electoral College. When the Congress met in January, they just threw out all the votes for Greeley. They could do the same case for Trump. Or figure out something else. Now, what if he dies between the Electoral College meeting in December and the Senate confirmation vote in January? Again, we don't know for sure. But according to the 20th Amendment, if the president elect dies before the beginning of his or her term, then the vice president elect is chosen. So Pence would be president. Of course, that is if Trump won and was re elected into office. But then you have the whole debate over when does the person actually become president elect? Does it happen after? after the Electoral College vote in December or after the vote in January. That's when we call in the US Supreme Court and again, they deal with this issue. If Trump does pass away from COVID though, the US election will certainly get delayed. They are going to need some time to figure out what their plan of action is going to be. Meanwhile, like I said before, Pence is acting president, meaning he's going to face an immense amount of pressure from Americans. All of the Trump supporters that believed him and were convinced by him that the pandemic wasn't that severe aren't going to know who to trust now. Their president has been lying to them. They were fooled and now they are mad. Pence is going to face the backlash. He's going to have to make some drastic calls to then settle everyone down. Not only that, but I hope that this will emphasize how serious the pandemic really is. Maybe with Trump's death, since he's a huge figure, people will start taking the pandemic seriously. They will wear their masks properly, stay six feet apart, stop the partying, and will self-isolate properly. Maybe they need the death of a president to finally understand the severity of this virus. In turn, this would do good for Americans. Hopefully, cases would start to lower and they could slowly get the situation under control. Also, if Trump passes away from COVID, then the government may just try to downplay it. Maybe they'll say it wasn't COVID he passed away from, but something else. I feel like that's what Trump would want. I mean, it must be embarrassing for him. He's been putting up this big strongman act for decades. He's all like, I'm not afraid of this virus, I'm never gonna catch it. And then he dies from it. Yeah, that's humiliating. He's going to tell the office to lie for him to help him save face and to keep up his reputation even after his death. Like I said before, if Trump passes away, it may end up being a Joe Biden and Mike Pence showdown. But who's really going to vote for Mike Pence, the former vice president to a man that lied about the pandemic? No, chances are they're going to turn to Biden for help. Then all Biden's got to do is make a strong speech about how he promises to protect America and get the virus under control and bam, chances are he will win the election. What will happen if Joe Biden becomes president could be a whole other video on its own. But some key main things that might happen are he will take serious steps to get the pandemic under control, he will take serious steps to get climate change under control, and we can only hope that he will pay attention to all the protests happening in the country. For example, Trump pulled out of the 2015 Paris Climate Treaty. Meanwhile, Biden has said he will invest millions of dollars into clean energy research and development and low carbon infrastructures. Etc. So it seems like this could all be a good thing for America. Again, the world is filled with uncertainty, especially right now. So it's hard to know for sure how everything is going to pan out. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. And that's all for today's video. Let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from my last video. What if the PS5 was banned in America? T. Kyron Washington commented, What if a tornado meets a volcano? Fiery tornado! But seriously, don't give 2020 any ideas because next thing you know there's going to be like a tornado alert and then volcanoes are just going to start like popping up everywhere and then it's just going to it's going to be a disaster. And if that was a reference to Eminem, totally got that. <laughs> Terminator 156 commented, "What if Freddy Krueger was real?" Nah. I'm out. I'm making myself a secret bunker and I'm living there forever. But seriously, stop giving 2020 ideas. Next thing you know, Friggin' Siren Head and Slenderman and Freddy Krueger and Jason are just gonna pop up and start killing us all off. JW commented, anyone here again the PS5? Yeah, let me know in the comments below if you're gonna get it. I'm not. I ain't got no money. That thing's expensive. Undock Sign commented, what would actually happen if you harbored a space alien? Okay, are you commenting that because you are harboring a space alien and you need help? Or because you are a space alien? I don't know, but for sure Area 51 has aliens. Just saying. And that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Life's Biggest Questions for more thought-provoking videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and stay curious, YouTube.
I'm your host and voice to- oh my god. So if Trump passes away before the election, then his party will choose another candidate to run in place of him. So if Trump passes away before the oh, all of the Trump supporters that believed him and were convinced by him that the pandemic wasn't that severe aren't going to aren't shoot that. All of the Trump supporters that believed him and were convinced by him that the pandemic all of the Trump supporters that believed him and were convinced by him that the pandemic. 